have to say that it is very humbling, you know, because uh, if you look at the number of extremely uh, 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 well positioned people who have graduated out of IIT Kanpur, it is really a privilege to be uh, getting this award. And to be honest, it also was a was a bit of a surprise. And uh, I am delighted to get this award, but certainly I was not expecting to get this award right away. So this is a somewhat difficult to answer, you know. So at school, I used to like uh, mathematics and the and the, and the scientific uh, disciplines, you know, physics, chemistry, and I also had uh, an interest in programming. But to be honest, uh, you know, at school, we didn't really know what computer science was about. Right? So we knew about programming, but certainly not about the field of computer science. So uh, when I was joining IIT Kanpur, uh, I was uh, vacillating between taking physics or chemistry or computer science. And essentially, you know, um, just by luck, I just filled in uh, computer science. But then I have to say that, uh, you know, the connection to mathematics that, that sort of underlies the field has been very interesting, you know. So, so uh, you know, since I have never regretted taking up computer science and then finding connections. And the other interesting point is that at an undergraduate level, we can think about, oh, this is computer science, this is electronics or electrical engineering, that is mathematics and so on. But after a certain point, all of these boundaries get very blurred. Right? So you essentially find some problems that you like to think about. And then uh, you see these problems kind of go across many different disciplines and you kind of follow the interesting parts and just you know, try to learn different techniques from different disciplines. So it's not so clear to me that, you know, an early love of programming or mathematics uh, really told me what computer science would be like, right? So in some sense, it is just a lucky coincidence that my interests in certain problems later were aligned with, you know, what computer scientists think about. What is next is always, you know, finding out interesting problems to work on. You know, so I am, I am working as a computer scientist, uh, and to me, what drives me is always finding interesting problems, being able to solve them, and essentially learning about some new things. Right? Of course, you know, it's nice to to get some awards, but we never do it for the awards, right? So. Um, what drives me now, I would say, are an interest in solving problems. So, you know, I think that IIT Kanpur already has a very, uh, has an excellent group of uh, research faculty, as well as a very strong uh, group of students, both at the undergraduate level and uh, if I understand uh, also at the graduate level. And uh, in some sense, you know, having an eye towards uh, basic sciences and having essentially the freedom and the funding to be able to work on interesting problems is probably how, you know, an institution can hope to do cutting edge research. And I think there are, uh, you know, some natural opportunities to find collaborations, both uh, within the sort of academic scientific community, as well as uh, through uh, industrial collaborations. But uh, the main thing is, uh, you know, just to be able to attract excellent faculty members, excellent students, and then, you know, doing the cutting edge research kind of takes care of itself. And I think that, uh, you know, in some sense, the IIT Kanpur and uh, the other IITs in India are lucky to have created this kind of critical mass of excellent scientists uh, working in, a, in an environment that is really very conducive to do very good research.
and so you know it always uh, takes some time and some luck in order to get you know the real breakthroughs but uh, they keep happening you know and uh, including at iit kanpur multiple times there have been results that have really been breakthroughs in their respective fields you know it's not so easy for me to be able to you know say you know what is my message to to iitk of course iitk has uh, has been a very strong influence in my life in in many ways you know my formative years you know the undergraduate years i spent there um in terms of message you know i would say that look um, you know the students at kanpur are among the brightest in the world you know uh you know not just in india but i really uh, you know if you think about any uh, cohort of undergraduate students worldwide uh iit kanpur really has a very uh, strong concentration of very good students and now you know the world is going through a crisis so you know it is really up to the students to figure out you know how to solve some of the problems that the older generation has kind of uh you know thrust upon them and there are problems you know as we all know with pandemics and and so on but there are also problems in uh, uh you know the way humans can collaborate you know uh, cooperate and collaborate with each other you know there's climate change there is right you know there there's a rise of extremism across the world and uh, my message would be that uh, look you know we have collected together some of the world's brightest minds and perhaps uh, you know they can spend some time thinking about how to solve these very difficult problems i saw a quotation by the dalai lama today that you know one should try to live a life that does not create problems for others and uh, maybe you know that is really one step and the other step is that also tries to uh, solve the problems that are already there so this is what i would say <laughs>